Hey guys, today we're going to be looking at phasers and uh, how to work with complex numbers in the TI-84+. Plus. Uh, what you want to first do is make sure under mode that you are in degrees and down here you are in A plus BI. Um, here's a problem from the electric fundamentals of electric circuits. Uh, calculate these complex numbers and express your results in rectangular form. Rectangular form is Z equals X plus JY and polar is Z equals R angle. Now this is the example 5 angle 30, 6 minus J8, 3 angle 60 divided by 2 plus J. Uh, we're going to look at this end part. We're going to try to convert this 2 plus J into polar because division uh, it's easier to just convert that into polar that way the coefficients just divide and the angles just subtract from one another so on the calculator to input 2 plus j you're just going to put 2 plus second and then the i 2 plus j enter and you're going to click on math scroll over to complex cpx and number 7 so 2.236 and then e to the 26.56 so you would write that as You'll write that as right there, 2.2361 angle 26.7. Then that's also the manual method. You can square root 2 squared plus 1 squared inverse tangent y over x to get the same thing. So then down here, 3 angle 60, once you convert that, then you just divide 3 by 2.24 which gets you 1.34 and then you just subtract 60 minus 26.7 which gets you 33.3 now in the parentheses the answer that you just got now you're going to convert it back to rectangular to do rectangular it's as easy as just doing 1.34 cosine 33.3 to get you the x and 1.34 sine 33.3 to get you the y and so that converts into 1.12 plus j you add the j and then the y the answer you got from y so uh, to confirm these you can check it on the calculator 1.34 cosine 33.3 gets you 1.12 and then 1.34 sine of 33.3 and that gets you the 0.74 now that you got that into rectangular the 1.12 plus j 0.74 you plug it back in into the parentheses uh, and then now it's just a matter of addition and subtraction the coefficient 6 and 1.12 add together to get you 7.12 and the negative j8 plus j.74 to get negative j7.26 so now we're going to be converting the 71.2 minus i 7.26 you're going to go back into math, complex, and then you're going to turn that into polar, which will get you 10.16, and the angle is negative 45.6. As a matter of uh, multiplication, coefficient 5 times 10.16, you multiply that across, gives you 50.8, and angle 30, and angle negative. 45.6 it's just addition and subtraction gets you negative 15.6 that's your final answer in polar if you want to turn it into rectangular we do as we said it would just be uh, 
50.8 cosine negative 15.6 that will be your x and you do it 50.8 sine negative 15.6 and that is your y to write that it would just be 48.9 48.9 and since the second number is the y coordinates negative, it would just be minus j 13.66.